That title is not clickbait. And you're like, what do you mean? If I think about the qualities that I want in the leader of our government, ineptitude and incapability are so high on my list that I can't express how desirable they are to me. When I think about what I want my government to do, my answer is as little as possible, preferably zero, preferably nothing, maybe even negative. If we could do negative things, then that would be, that'd be great. If we can take away some of the things that we did in previous years and regress, that would be fantastic. That would be awesome. So when I look at our current administration and I see a dude that literally has the, uh, has at his fingertips the capacity to whip all houses of government and still can't get anything done. That's exactly what I want out of the leader of my government. I want nothing to get done. As our founders intended, I want our government completely gridlocked. So the reason I pulled over to make today's video is because I'm driving in a level three emergency and I wanted to talk about the new push on gun control that they're purported to be looking at for their key issue and in going into the midterms. And I think about this and I'm thinking, we all know that the source of the raised crime that we're talking about, we know the source of that. We don't need to discuss that. We know that they did that. But when we look at their proposed solution, going into a midterm election that the general consensus on most people, even on places like the mainstream news outlets, all pretty much agree that there's going to be an absolute spanking in, in the midterms. So when you go after an issue as polarizing as this, my question is, are they either so completely out of touch that they have lost all sense of strategery? Or is there actually some strategery going on there? And I think the first one is relatively self-explanatory, so I don't think we actually have to go after that one. But let me explain what my thinking is on the second scenario. They know that they're going to get wrecked. So knowing that they're going to get wrecked, they go ahead and say, hey, we're going to pick a hot button issue to basically completely make it so that we have no chance. We would lose as many seats as possible because we already know that we're going to lose both houses. We might as well make pack the, the legislature with our opponents. And you're like, why on earth would you do that? Well, knowing that they're going to get completely smoked in the midterms, that then sets them up for two years of complete ineptitude and incapability to get anywhere and get anything done on both sides because if you have a Republican-controlled legislature and a Democratic president, then nothing that they're going to do is going to get signed. They would have to have over veto override potential, which I, I think is still, even the given, given the current climate, I really just don't think that they're going to get that, even with what we're, what we're dealing with. So what you then do with those two years of in can't get anything done is then you get to come back in election 2024 and be like those evil Republicans. Look what all they did during this time. They stonewalled and did all that sort of stuff in a bid to be able to get a more capable leader in 2024. And that's my thought on why on earth they would go after a renewed push for gun control going into a, an election that they know a serious percentage of their base has switched sides on the issue. I, I don't know how you, I don't know how you do that. I don't know why you would do that for any other reason than what I just stated to be able to set yourself up for a 2024 run say, saying that everything that they experienced hardship wise and you experienced hardship wise for the last two years, as in speaking from 2024 election time is the fault of their political opponents. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think that I'm completely cracked? If that's the case, then I'd love to hear from you, as well as if you agree with my analysis, then I would love to hear from you as well. Special thanks to everybody who supports us on Patreon. I'm going to be uploading this one um, mobile because I'm going to be in my truck the, the rest of the day, so uh, we won't see the, the tags of all the people who helped out on Patreon that I normally put because there's going to be no editing whatsoever. So uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. And stay safe out there because uh, we're sitting in a level three emergency right now. And uh, it's a it's a fantastic day here in the state of Ohio. Love you. Bye.